in big dog, we could say the same thing about the wide receiver position because if George Pickens uh, was certainly uh, the number one target on this team two years ago, would have been this past season. Of course, he was coming off the ACL, just got back into the lineup near the end of the season. And Jermaine Burton has made his way in the transfer portal to mm, Alabama. Uh, so the two top wide receivers from last year. But again, we're looking at a lot of guys that not only have talent, uh, many of them have stepped up in some big games and made some key catches. So they've already proven that they uh, can produce on the big stage. Uh, losing uh, Jermaine Burton to um, Alabama upset a lot of fans. Uh, I mean, it's a, a lot of people reached out and they're like, why is he going to the team that you guys just beat? Um, you know, why would he want to do that? And it's pretty obvious. Um, Alabama is heavy at throwing to their WR1. There's a big position available at the WR1, and he certainly has the talent. I don't think there's anybody over on the Alabama roster that can really compete with Jermaine Burton for that WR1 position. But if you look at Georgia, Georgia actually has at least six other guys at the wide receiver position that can compete for that role. So is it – a loyalty thing? I don't think it's a loyalty thing. I think that this young man is trying to take an opportunity to go play for a good team and a good coach that give him a great opportunity to go to the NFL. I think it's a business decision. I can respect it. Um, they've done a really good job of coaching up their wide receivers and getting him in the NFL. So you can't be mad at that guy. He contributed to a national championship winning team. Hats off to him. Do I wish he would have stayed? Absolutely. But unfortunately, uh, there's just so much talent on the Georgia roster. Uh, it, it really kind of made him have to make a hard decision. And I, I think he made a good one. I'm not mad about it. Uh, Georgia's current roster of, of wide receivers is going to consist of uh, Dominic Blaylock, who played outstanding in the national championship game. Lad McConkey, who last year had 31 receptions for five touchdowns. And out of those 31 receptions, had 447 yards. This is on a roster that spread the ball around extremely well. If Georgia had just one or two talented players, it probably would have seen him go for over a thousand yards as a receiver. He just has that much talent. Karius Jackson had great roles last year. He did extremely well from time to time. You would see him show up and, and he's back. Rosemary Jack Saint, who's been out for a couple of seasons due to injury, he's back. Currently, Georgia has two, um, two wide receivers that are out due to injury, but it's early in the spring. They'll be back for the season, and that's Arian Smith and C.J. Smith. Both of those guys are lightning fast. Both are clocked currently at 22 miles per hour. So when you think about the amount of speed and the hands that are on Georgia's wide receiver room, this is one of the most talented wide receiver rooms we're going to have on the field at one time, even without a George Pickens. So – I'm not I'm not concerned about the wide receiver position. There's there's a couple other positions I am concerned about, but wide receiver is not one of them. 